at a Florida high school student getting rave reviews by his classmates and teachers for a speech he wrote and recently delivered to his senior class. As Katie Legrand reports, for this teen, it was a speech, a young lifetime in the making. When you go to the same small school with the same small crowd. I was like five years old when I met him. For most of your life. I've known him since we were literally four. By senior year, you expect students to have found their voice. I think I got it, by the way. And not be afraid to use it. A song for the soundtrack of your life. Sean Emmons. Oh boy. Is right. no exception. Till I collapse by Eminem. But for this political buff on the school debate team. Natalie, isn't that your top choice? Using his voice was never the problem. I'll talk to anybody that will listen. Accepting it. What does your stutter mean to you? It means everything and it means n n n n n nothing. Has been a journey for as long as this 17 year old can remember. I would get like really like visibly f f f frustrated when I couldn't say what I wanted to say. According to Sean, his stutter first became noticeable around three. By third grade, he was in speech therapy, but got frustrated and quit two years later. One day it'll just go away. Then came middle school. In a lot of ways, it was rough. Made it that much rockier for a boy with a stutter. Because the Derrick Henry oh, no. character, oh, no. Derek, oh, no. his classmates just couldn't yeah. understand. They were just kind of, I don't really know what to do with you because you're very different in a number of ways. After eighth grade, when most young teens aren't even close to figuring out who they are, Sean realized it was time to accept who he was never going to be. No, it's it's not just going to go away. It, it's going to be here and it's going to continue being as bad as it is for as long as I choose not to do anything about it. So instead of hating his stutter, he made the decision to own it, embrace the voice that for years he couldn't stand as the voice that makes him stand out. And most recently inspired him to stand up. I spent most of that time wishing that my stutter would magically disappear. In front of 150 classmates, teachers and parents. I treated it like a disease. Sean gave his Thankfully, senior class speech. I finally accepted my stutter as a part of who I am. In a way, only he could. It is our differences that define us, not our similarities. By end, what we have to say matters too. We just take a bit longer to say it sometimes. Thank you. There wasn't a dry eye in the school gym. That's his dad and mom after hearing the speech for the first time with everyone else. Proud. Oh man, wow. Like, oh. Is hard to put into words. I know all that he went through, and so to see him get through it was awesome. Leaving your parents speechless is one thing. Every teacher stood for him in the stands and the children, the most thunderous applause. So it was really, it was very rewarding. A lot of the times people will tell you a sob story, but it wasn't a sob story. It was like a story of perseverance. He really showed us with that with his speech. That sometimes you just have to take on what life gives you. STEM club. Next year, Sean will take on college. I think I'm going to major in something in the statistics and data science area. Leaving behind a journey that took him years to fully express into words he could finally Regardless accept. Whoever this story, whoever it gets shared with, whoever ends up impacting, that's all fantastic. But the most important piece of that for me was like that was the final piece of the puzzle of like putting it to rest with myself. In Pasco County, Katie Legrone, Fox 5.